to be able to get this out. Ah, okay, Steve started the recording. Welcome to the market mapping webinar, everybody. And thanks for coming in and taking the time to spend your afternoon with us. Um, we're really glad to be able to get this out to you before the uh, before the holidays get started, you know, because we really wanted to share in this time of thanks and giving. Yeah. So um, I've been market mapping forever, and it brings me a whole lot of joy to have seen this whole thing grow and uh, and take off. I, um, it keeps getting better and better, and we keep uh, refining the, uh, the techniques for market mapping. And I won't tell the whole story about how it all got started. I've told that in other webinars before, um, but um, I've been sharing it with others. And what's really cool about that is that when I share it with others, I show them some things with it, and then they come back to me and they show me ways to use it that I never could have imagined sometimes, yeah. And that's just part of the joy of sharing uh, that. And these webinars are part of that as well. We get the uh, we get it out there and people come back and say, hey, yeah, I'm using it in this way or that way. Because as you'll see when Steve shows you, Steve doing the presentation today, um, when uh, Steve shows you some of these things and then you use them, you might see some things that we didn't because there's just all different kinds of ways you can use these maps. Yeah. So uh, Steve is a really great teacher. We've been working together for probably five or more years now. Steve run the stock index trading room. He's a great teacher. Uh, he's got a, a wonderful way to be able to explain things in super clear ways. And he's going to show you some real cool stuff with market mapping. So these maps are offered through the trading room. You know, it's not an indicator or something like that. It's not software. Uh, these are things that I make uh, daily and they get delivered in a spreadsheet. You'll probably see some of the spreadsheet during the presentation. And um, so if you're a room member, you get the maps, it's just part of it, yeah. And um, I used to offer the maps originally. We I had marketmaptrader.com. Um, and then um, basically for the same cost, the uh, maps are included in the trading room. So some people even subscribe to the trading room just to get the maps. Yeah. And so um, it's definitely worth that, uh, as you'll see. Um, but you know, when you've got a room membership, you got 10 times as much because you got the training and you got the daily lectures and all those kinds of things. So um, we feel that brings a tremendous amount of uh, value uh, to the table. Yeah. So enjoy this webinar with Steve presenting. Um, enjoy the concepts and the ideas behind it. If applied and aligned with the concepts that we're sharing here, it can be life transforming. So without further delay, here's Steve. And Steve, thanks for coming in and doing this today. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Rob, thank, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a little cough there right as I'm coming on. I'll try not to cough in your ear. Uh, welcome. We're glad you're here. Thanks for spending your time. Uh, Rob, thanks for your giving attitude and spirit. Uh, I want to echo the sentiment. This system, and uh, I'm going to show you two trades we recommended in the room today. Uh, and this was just sort of a typical day for us with the maps and you can decide if it has merit for you or not but rob is giving this to the members for free and uh i think you'll see as we go along it's uh it's it's pretty substantial uh concept if you want to add it to what you do uh, i'm going to make this legal let's go ahead and get this up and uh this is a little different then a lot of things that you'll look at, we're talking about forecasting in the future hours in advance. And when I first heard that, I, I was um, maybe more than skeptical. I was probably cynical and going, eh, you can't do that. And I was wrong and very wrong. And um, this may be for you, may not be for you, um, but you can decide as we go along whether or not it is. I'm not gonna spend much time on me. Um, it turns out I've been teaching and training traders for 40 years. 
the first 35, they looked like professional golfers and uh, club champion golfer scratch players and businessmen and women that wanted to break 100 and not embarrass themselves when they went to play. What we do in trading is exactly what competitive golfers do on a golf course all the time. And the thought process of preparing ourselves to take action into an unknown future is demanding. I, I'm going to be honest with you. That's not the easiest thing you'll ever do. I've been doing this with golfers for 35 years and now we're traders. So I've trained myself, I've taught myself to teach and train at a very high level into an uncertain future, which is exactly what trading is. So I say that to say this, um, the question you should ask yourself is not, is this valid? We're going to show you it's valid. Uh, you don't have any doubts about that when we get through is, can these folks, can Rob's work in Steve's training Equip me to reach my trading goals. That's it. That's the only question you need to ask yourself. And um, Rob's work is uh, exceptional. And we have we have uh, lots of traders who have uh, quit their day job and are trading for a living. And so we have the proof with that too. So anyway, qualified to do what we get. I'm going to read you three slides really quick. You can go back. You won't need any of this information. And then we're going to get to the meat of the matter. <clears throat> it is impossible to know, know the future with 100% accuracy. That's not what we're saying here. Okay. This is a roadmap. It is not a crystal ball. We are not clairvoyant. Okay. All we do is we have really high statistical probabilities that certain things are going to happen. And then when we apply that with money management, common sense money management principles, we get trading opportunities that people say can't be real. And I understand I was one of those people for a long time. We've got a lot of our members now that were very skeptical but open-minded, they came into the room with an open mind and looked and started watching and have changed their lives with what they're doing, not what we're doing, but what they're doing in the room. See, markets have memory. And all forecasting methods rely on this memory or probability to repeat over and over and over. We're going to talk about the third and fourth generations of market mapping from uh, World Cup trading champion Rob Mitchell, a lifetime career pursued over 30 years. And uh, he's refining even more. The exciting news is while we're at the tip of the iceberg here, we got more stuff coming down the road. <clears throat> okay, here's an overview. The idea behind what we're trying to do is alert traders of upcoming opportunities well before it happens so we can be ready and prepared. That would be trading in the future. We are looking at circumstances now that have whatever statistical probability that it has over time to take place in the future. We're not trading the past. That would be after bars close and chasing price. We're not trading the present. We're trading into the future. Now, Today is going to all be about practical application of how we take this concept and how you can use it for to, to meet your trading goals. You know, the theory behind this idea, which I can't, I can't talk for hours. Rob can talk for hours and hours and hours, and it's fascinating to listen in the history behind all this. And in our members area, we got tons of information for the people that want to really study the why of this idea. You know, we could spend we could spend more time than you're going to give me today and not talk about how we use this. But what we're going to do is I'm a practical guy. I'm a trader. I'm not a systems. I'm a systems developer, but I'm not an indicator developer or coder. I take other people's brilliant work and find uh, great ways to uh, benefit from that. So today is about practicality and how we apply this. And that's all. OK, we've got two maps. First map's a super map. And uh, this, I, this is in your recording. I'm not going to read this to you. This basically is word for word from our members area uh, market map documentation. But we'll look at a map and we'll look at all of these different areas and we'll talk about what they mean 
very briefly, if you decide to come and trade with us, <coughs> excuse me, I said I wasn't going to cough in your ear. If uh, you decide to come trade with us, then there's all kinds of information, and we go over this ad infinitum every day. You know, and if not, then um, it's, you know, none of, none of this really matters. So what we have here, and we're just going to go through this real briefly. Again, you have the recording. So we have the date. We want to make sure we're on the right day. Room time. Actually, isn't room time. Uh, this is West Coast time. The room is East Coast. And I, we've actually had members that go, what is this saying 7 o'clock? Uh, that's actually 10 o'clock. It's a period that prints between 9.30 and 10. Uh, we classify that as A period. And then the next 30 minutes is B and the next 30 minutes is C and so on. Okay. 30-minute bar traders tend to dominate the market after the institutions get settled in. Okay. The second uh, row is... Uh, what is the range projection, top to bottom, bottom to top, of a period, the first 30 minutes of trading today? It was 28 and a half points. These numbers get hit about uh, almost 80% of the time. So if this says it's 18.8, we've got 80% probability and H of getting 18 points, okay? This looks back in time uh, quite a ways my understanding, it looks back in time quite a ways and makes summations based on things that have happened. What are the probabilities of certain things happening? And this, this is 100%, we'll get there in a minute. This basically just says that in the time this looked back, this happened every instance, you know? And so since markets repeat and have memory, this is incredibly valuable to us. So uh, range, what is the range of each period? We have members that just say, okay, C period, I'm going to try to get to an edge, you know, and trade it for 22 points and uh, work the market that way. And they go from period to period, trying to find edges and work for maximum benefit. What is the, the range projection of the last two periods, three periods, four periods, five periods. And we can look into this when the market opens and look at our overnight projections and tell are we normal or abnormal. So we know immediately, even before we get going, if this is like, okay, market's engaged and we're ready to rock, or we need to let it settle in a bit, okay? The, the C range is a cumulative range from the European open all the way through the end of our trading period. The C range is simply, you'll notice it's this number. It's the total of the day trading session. Okay, so A plus B plus C plus D, the total ranges from top to bottom bottom to top, are forecast here. We'll look at this 97 and 74 number in a minute. Remember that, 97 for full range and um, 74 and a half for our day US day trading session. The probability to ex expand the day trading session B is 100% likely to take out A one way or the other or to expand the session. And we'll look at that. We'll look at how do we use that. And then what are the probabilities that G is going to expand? Very little in the past. And we had some news come out and shake the market up a little bit. But again, we're not a crystal ball. <laughs> this is not a crystal ball. This can't say, okay, in an hour and a half, and uh, a sudden announcement's going to be made and things happen, okay? This is a critical uh, column. And this says that we have 100% probability to take out the prior one, two, three, four, five periods. And I'm going to show you what that looks like on a chart in a minute. Stacked ones, we call this stacked ones. 
stacked nines, ninety percent. This is this is uh, this is the land of milk and honey and trading. This is what you want to see. Now the problem today is that minus two was fifty plus handles, fifty over fifty points. So that tore up this a little bit. So we sort of let it get settled in and we have found our first great trade in B period. This, uh, these three uh, rows here tell us that we have 100% probability of taking out the prior period, minus one in this case, by 15 or more ticks. So we have members that just let it get to the edge and trade for those four points or they'll add to a trade. Maybe they'll take profit and then we get to the edge. Looking again at stacked ones, these are, uh, these are dreams. These are what we live for. The uh, three period probability walk is simply what are, what is the probability? What are the chances that a period, the first 30 minutes, is going to take out minus one in a direction that minus one took out minus two. Okay, it's ninety percent, and that's major, 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 major advantage. The issue here was because uh, minus two was so big, minus one was inside minus two. 50 points, that's to be expected. So we did not have our direction. We didn't have a direction. We didn't have an up or down to work it on. Now, I will tell you this in advance. A period, 9.30 to 10, took out 9 to 9.30 down, okay? We have a 90% chance that B period is gonna take out A period down. Is that an advantage? Do you think that's an advantage? Well, we'll look at chart and see. C period has a 70% chance of taking B period out down by four points. And we go on and on and on. And this is just the probability that the period that we would be trading is going to follow our trend or continue to cycle in the direction, or is it likely to reverse? Again, not a crystal ball, but some brilliant insight. Now, here's my favorite number, prior high and low. When this number gets up around 7, 70% or greater, and normally it's in A period, what we almost always get is we'll get a trap, the market will come down, take minus one out. Once it heads back above minus one, and this number is seven, taking out the other side of minus one is almost a given. And so we get some of our largest trades from that scenario. So again, you're not gonna get all that. We wouldn't expect you to get all that. You won't get it in the first day or two, but here is the written explanation of all of those things on the super map. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna pull up a chart. It's a little bit different than our room chart. And let's look at the probability. And we, we talked through this in the room and recommended it in the room. B, A was supposed to follow minus one, but minus one was inside, so we got nothing. Once, a, once uh, a takes minus one out down, we're looking down, 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 down a lot. Now, we didn't get it. I will tell you that we didn't get it. Our, our probability factor was that we were going to trade into this and work and take this out by four points. Okay, that was the trade. So we had this entry signal that we love. Now, since we have a 100% chance, nine, I'm sorry, 90% chance to go here and 10% chance to go here, does it make sense 
that we are this close to the edge, and we talk about this in the room, hey, team, we're looking at a 24-point target with a three or four-point stop. And that's exactly what the trade set up to be, okay? Exactly the way it was set up to be. So uh, we had this new signal that we love, this big wick into this, and the market started working down and it congested and it started working down again. And I was feeling, I was feeling really good about my entry here. Uh, this on our room chart was a do not cross, that's a reversal. Once we took that out and we even said, we said, uh-oh, if we take this out, we got to get out. Uh, you know, I probably left three ticks on the table or so on an 11 and a half point trade. But still, you know, the map says, hey, let's do this and let's work this way. We had a super high expectation to go here and we didn't do it. OK, but we were in the trade here working for this, managing a winning trade all the way down. OK, so that was this. B taking out A down, it didn't do it. But you know, whether you were scalping two points, two points, two points, whether you were five points, you know, how, however you were going to trade this, you were working on the correct side, 90% probability, you're working 90% probability to go in your favor. So that was the first trade that we um, that we saw on the maps that we liked, that we recommended. And, and this took a while. We talked through, we talked through both of these. You know, this was, we, we talked exactly, hey, we've got three or four points here before, you know, our map is, is not accurate. And it's again, it's not a crystal ball. We got 90% chance of going down 25 points, 10% chance of going up four points. Uh, I hope you don't need, uh, I hope you don't need a lot of uh, explanation about why that would be good. You know, I've lost my chart. Let me pull this over. Now, the second map that we have, let me pull that up and show that to you. It's called an ultra map. That's like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. What's going on here? And I'm not going to, I, you know, th there are so many factors in here. Again, we could spend hours on this. We're not going to do this. A period is this X right here. Now, we had a 100% probability, one, two, three, four, five, six, of taking out the prior six periods. Okay. The problem is this was 50 points, okay? So that's abnormal, okay? So this, well, let's let it get settled in and uh, get some support and resistance figured out for us to be able to make uh, common sense trades on. What I'm gonna show you the way we use this, and then I'm gonna go back to yesterday and show you the probability takeouts. Again, because we didn't have a 50 handle minus two period, we had more manageable. But as we go sideways here, I, I don't like to go over three periods, but what this is saying is that uh, from A period, A is gonna be one extreme, and C is going to be the other extreme 70% of the time. So if this is up, this is down to the edge. If this is uh, down, this is up to the edge. You could even go, some traders go four periods, and we can look a high probability that uh, D. And what you'll see, you know, that's, that's pretty good numbers here. And then we go on later in the day, and we go uh, 50, 70, 40. Not a lot of probability to work three period extremes. Again, if you come to the room, we'll explain this. You'll know exactly what that means. But we took a super map concept and traded this trade. Okay. okay. We had this 
11, 12, 13, 15, to whatever winter, however you decided to manage that. We had that in a bag. And C and D are 70% likely to be the opposite of A. I know that makes your head swim right now, and I apologize. I can't. That's I, I just, you know, here's A, and it's up. 70% that D is going to be a, a, a new extreme or a new low for the day down. Okay. Does that make sense? 70%. Actually, it's, it's much higher than that with base theorem, but let's say 70%. So we've got a 70% probability that D 11 to 1130 is going to take C out down. Now, here's the good news, is that we're a long ways. We are a long ways from C's low. So from a money management standpoint, this makes a whole lot more sense than selling it right down in here for a couple of points. Now, again, we have members that once it breaks out, trade for those four points, one, two, three, four. Easy peasy. But we recommended this in the room, and uh, here's why I'm going to pull this. This is my favorite trade, by the way. Uh, that shouldn't matter. This is my favorite trade, though. Okay. D has a greater probability of taking C out down than C did B. Okay. So I've got a greater chance of working down to a new low in D period taking out the prior by four points than I did in C. Well, C worked pretty good, took it out. I'm super confident over 90, we have a 96% probability with stacking probabilities that we're gonna take this out now. Now we look at the time frame, and we're three or four minutes away. All right, so we're starting to get reversing signals in here, really nice reversing, our, our one of our favorite reversing patterns here with the probability to come down and take this out. There's the target, 4.15 ticks below C's low, okay? So 90% probability that we're coming down here to here. 400% more profit potential trading it here on the way down. Our super, our ultra map says that D was 70% likely to be the opposite of A. Okay, so that's down. Our super map said taking this out down is 80%. So take 70 times 80 on base, base theorem. And you get 95 or 6 or 7% to get in here and to go here, it's like, Rob, I never dreamed anything like this could be possible. And yet this is what Rob Mitchell has given us. Okay, so uh, those, and we, we had this trade, we had this target spelled out. We had an anomaly down here as well. We'll talk about that if we have time. But anyway, those are the two trades that we got off our maps today. And um, they both worked beautifully. Now, some people would like to trade more than two. This was a 14 point winner, depending on when you bailed on that. This was at 11. So two trades, and, and those were the two trades we suggested with the maps. Now, we've got other scalping entries for people that like to scalp. Man, we got stuff all over the place, and you'll love it. We'll teach you a couple of entries that you can use, and you'll love it. But this is a, a target projection system, not only unlike anything I've ever seen, anything I've ever dreamed that we would have to trade. So I'm going to share one other, let me see what time it is. I'm running out of time. I'm going to share one other idea. And I went back in time to find this. We don't get this a lot. Um, questions? How are we doing? Yeah, we got some questions. Oh, no. Rob, thank you, Rob. <laughs> Rob's my hero. <laughs> well, 
where would I be without Rob? And the answer is broke. <laughs> so anyway, so here we have a situation on this day. We open our ultra map and we look at a period, which is this X, and we go over and we see really, really close to the open. We, we like in a perfect world, this would be zeros instead of ones. This is 10%, zero, zero percent. And this would match up with a versus one tick away. Now, so this is really, 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 really good. And really, 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 really close. Okay, it's not perfect. And so what we did was we, this was minus six. Okay, the period represented by minus six. And so all we do, real simple, is we go to minus six and I put a big red line in the room. And as long as we open below that, I don't re ever remember going up. Now, I'm sure we will. Again, it's not a crystal ball. It's just a roadmap. Okay. So here, the market opens. Here's a period. And here's our do not cross line. Now, man, it can't be that good. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Huh. Well, I'm glad we were on the short side that day. I'm glad we were working away from this. And we always do. Again, it's not a crystal ball. It's a roadmap. But it gives us this directional bias. It's amazing. Okay. Well, here we go. All right. We're going up. I'll guarantee you we're going up. Okay. There are a lot of people trying to guess what's going to happen here. We know the statistical probabilities of working back down are not 100%, but are really close. When we, this is a abnormal. But when we take this structure out to the downside, we're pretty confident we're going to come all the way down. We're, we know we're going to take this out. and pretty confident we're going to come down and take this out. OK, so again, do not cross. Trade away from it, trade away from it. There we take out the chart point that needs to be taken out. And we go on and on and on. And again, that again, that's a room favorite. That the room just when we have that, they just they giggle. And because we have a directional bias that uh, I, I don't remember it not working. I'm sure, you know, we've been doing this uh, a couple of months, six, yeah, a couple of months maybe. I don't remember it not working. It will. There will be a day that we have that and it will not work. Okay. This is not a crystal ball. But that's, um, so what did we look at? Probability take out prior periods. I promised you I was going to show you what that looked like. How are we doing on time? Oh, I'm good. Your head's spinning. I know your head's spinning by now. And, and I'm sorry. I, I am. Uh, again, if you're going to come to the room, all kinds of stuff are in the room. You know, if you're not, this is like, hey, that's pretty cool. Good luck with that and that type of thing. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. 90% probability to take out the prior three, 100% for B period to take out the prior three. So let me pull up a 30 minute chart and we're over here. Now, again, it wasn't very, wasn't very good probability to take out a 50 point bar from here. Okay. So we have to use common sense and go, that's not normal. So let's let it get settled in and start giving us indication. However, on Monday, here's a period. One, two, three, here are the prior three, this high or this low. You see, we come down and take out that low. Now, this is not that large of a trade, six or seven points. Uh, some people would love to get a, an additional 6.7 point, five point winner for the day and add that to the mix. Some days this can be as many as 20 points and it works just as well. Now, B period, which is this bar that I'm hovering over here, as a hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. To take out the prior four. So a 
minus one, minus two, minus three. So B is either going to take this out or this out. We open here, 86, up to 94, 50, eight points, however you would want to enter in there. But again, five or six free, you know, just free points in there. With the super map, ultra map, sorry, ultra map, saying the probability to take out the prior the probability to take out the prior periods is 100%. Mm -hmm. So we look at that again, stacked ones, stacked ones. We love stacked ones. We love stacked ones going over. Okay, this would say in this, and we're not going to chase that down, um, in A, probability of uh, one side being on the extreme of the other is very, very high. Okay, so um, let's put this up and let's put this up. Do not touch. So take out prior periods, protect it against moving back. Uh, let's, I'll show that. I don't have an example of that. But basically what that means is that when B period takes out the A period one way or the other, it is protected uh, not to come back through not to come back through the bottom of uh, A. Now where this comes into play, and we've had trades where uh, we would we would take something out. Let's say we take it out to the downside and then we come back up 15 or 18 points and we get very, very close, very close to the protected area and it starts reversing. Well, sometimes, you know, again, those, you can you can well imagine period 20, 25 point moves. And when we have that and we get close to that in the room, we have that marked. And we are always making you aware. All right, we've got a protected move here. You know, and we're two and a half points away, and the downside is 28, and this is two and a half. And you do the math and figure out if you want to trade again, like we did with our first trade. You know, the the this size is five, six, seven, ten times larger than the side if it doesn't work in our favor. Okay, so probability takeout, do not touch. Uh, we talked about this three or four periods. Uh, A is on one side, C is on the other. A is on one side, D is on the other. We showed you that. We used that trade today to take that C to D trade. We were super sure that D was going to make another uh, extreme was going to make another range uh, low in this case a was up market was working down and so we had a 95 percent level of confidence that that second trade that we showed you was going to take d out it went out pretty quickly it went out pretty quickly so let's see what else have we got here again let me look at time Uh, all right, you're going to have to come to the room. I'm going to show you, I'll show you uh, one of two. We have two ways that we trade. An anomaly is just something that is not supposed to happen, okay? Anomaly is something that is unusual and the market doesn't like unusual. So uh, let me show you how uh, one of the ways we trade in the room. Uh, what is normal? when a period breaks is that the 30 minute bar traders are fighting over control. We wanna go up, we wanna go down, we wanna go up, we wanna go down. These usually are pretty congested right around the edges because there's a lot of fading and then some continuation. And you know, you'll know, you look and you'll see, you know, take it out and come down. Boom, 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 okay? 
what happens when we get this type of situation where we break through a period with three or more continuation bars, one, two, three, or more, well, the market likes to go clean that up at a 92% clip, okay? 92% probability that we're gonna go up and clean that up. Okay, 92% that we're gonna go, or, or you know, my, my study. So here we get, we break out, and we come down, up, down, up, down, up, down, no anomaly. Here we break up three bars, one, two, three. And we come down and we clean that up. So I don't know if you can find anything in here you like to trade to that. Maybe. It might be simply, all right, I'm not ready to go along yet because I know the market likes to come and clean these up. Okay. And, you know, we can go, we can go, uh, we can go almost anywhere. Three bar breakout and it comes back down. Okay. Break out and it comes back down. Break down and up. And when you get a clean break, you can do it overnight, international or international friends, you can do it overnight. When we get a clean break, we'll go clean that up. See, here's one at minus 12. Goes down, back up, cleans it up. Okay, does that make sense? So uh, we're all the time marking the, this is unusual for the market to do that. As you can see, it pretty much across the board cleans it up. 72 or 3% within the period. Now, I don't know about overnight, but in the US session, 72 or 3%, it cleans it up in a period, which is a good number. 92% uh, before the session's over, okay? 92% before the session's over. So that's something you can take with you. you. You don't have to be in a room. You can just say, okay, I'm going to pay attention to 30 minute periods. And when we get a clean break, I'm going to expect the market to trade back into that. I'm going to expect the market to trade back into that. It might get you in some winning trades. I don't know. It might keep, might keep you out of losing trades. Once we change trend structure sentiment here, Okay, the room would be very excited about going there. All right, so uh, we have other anomalies. Uh, we're, we're not gonna, we're not going to. Uh, I, I don't have time to go through that. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, opening round. Oh, we've got an opening range directional bias trade that has ninety six percent historic accuracy. We don't get that a lot, you know five, six, seven times a month, maybe. Uh, and maybe a couple of times, you know, one, one or two times a week. But man, you certainly want to be on that. Well, we've got, we've got traders that trade two or three markets and that's all they trade. They'll look for this setup and they'll trade to that 96%. And this is normally, this is normally uh, explosive. Uh, and with built-in targets, this whole thing, that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful trade. 30-minute bar reversals, those are easy. You've read about those. We use those in the room. Support and resistance with 30-minute bars with 80% uh, accuracy or more. Uh, our trading room, any, you know, not any trading room. Um, two broad approaches to trading room. Once a vendor run, we're going to let you in for free and try to sell you our indicator in our system. And if it matches your belief, you might can take it and make it work. If it doesn't, you're going to have to change your belief system. Now that can be done, but it's a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult. The thing about uh, what Rob did in his room and, and set the tone and what I've tried to copy, well, have copied, is that we know there are people that scalp. We know there are people that swing trade. We know there are people that will take one trade and trade it and try to hang on to it as long as they can. Uh, we know people trade continuations with the trend. We know people trade counter trend, looking for the edge, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is as hard as it is to find a winning trade system that matches your beliefs, it's probably more difficult for you to change your beliefs to something a one trick pony is trying to present.
So we don't do that. You know, we say, hey, you want to, you tell me, you want to, you want to trade continuations with the trend? You want a high, high win rate? You want a large win size? I know you want both. And we've got some trades that do that, blah, 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 and whatever. And then we'll help you put together a system that matches your beliefs. And as long as they're not well, I'm going to get 500 points in a day and get every top and bottom tick and chase price around. You know, we can't help you with that. Um, I, I just I don't know how to do it. So, but statistical probabilities to work in your favor. Yeah, sure. So uh, discover things about the market. You can learn nowhere else because we're a trading room and not a vendor oriented room. We're not trying to sell you anything. You come into the room and look and you go, wow, this is okay. I see how this works. I can reach my goals. Then, you know, the investment is not an expense. It's an investment. And here's the thing that Rob talked about that made an impact packed on my life he doesn't know how much he's changed my life or maybe he does i don't know but anyway discover things in a way that make you independent steve's not i'll put airs on a chart and teach signals and things like that but i want you to trade your account i want you to make the decisions and you will be the cause in your life and not the effect Life will no longer be random. And I've had quite a few members that say, listen, yeah, you've changed my trading, but you've changed my life. Because we force you to accept responsibility for your decisions. And once you do, the magic, life opens, life opens its magic up and pours out the good stuff on you. Self-empowerment, it goes way beyond trading. Key elements and concepts and systems, how to approach the market from a higher level. So you can see here and feel what the lower levels are doing. We talk about this every day, to some degree, every day. The psychology of how do I build confidence? How do I anticipate? And then how do I have the confidence to take the signal when it's supposed to be taken and leave it alone and let it work for me? We are totally supportive in levels of personal growth and development. And you can apply this to any market and much more. Um, I'm I'm wrapping up here. Uh, how are we doing on time? Oh, yeah, baby. So I, I try with the mapping strategy, you know, it's it's a it's a different type of concept and it's not for everybody. I there, you know, a lot of people that that um I, I don't I don't know if you can. Uh, if you can wrap your thoughts around, okay, this is saying that an hour and a half from now, we should be down here. If you're skeptical and cynical and going, oh, we can't do that, you know, whatever. I understand that. I was that person for a long time. But we've had quite a few people lately. You know, we've had people not wait on this, but go ahead and jump the gun and come in open minded and uh, are starting to learn and starting to apply and already starting to see benefits of what we're doing. You can tell this is an old slide, 24, 25. We did hit it. I, I didn't, to be honest, uh, I'm, I'm putting more time into this than I bargained for. Uh, I thought I'd retired and uh, I've never, I, this is true. I've never had anybody outwork me in my life until I met Rob Mitchell. Um, but anyway, uh, this just some, you know, things that people are, people have experienced in the room over a long period of time. And, uh, I didn't feel like going and getting a slide or, you know, these, the we these are unsolicited. These are just people. And, and you can imagine the two trades we suggested today, uh, we got a lot of positive feedback and then, you know, I had people that say, look, I can't trade it yet, but holy smoke, I can't wait until I can. I'm training myself to do that. So, um, oh, Kevin, how are you doing, man? It ain't nothing but a thing, baby. It ain't nothing but a thing. Rob Mitchell has given us the most phenomenal tools to work with. And then, you know, our eyeballs are bleeding because we're so excited in the work we're doing, trying to learn how to apply it as quickly as we can because of the power. <laughs> I love you too, my friend. The 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 power that's behind what he's given us. So uh Rob, I am uh 
You done? Yeah, let me, let me, <laughs> yeah, let me, let me quit while I'm ahead or at least while I'm even and turn this back to you. Okay. Thanks for presenting, Steve. Um, so guys, what Steve is presenting is really hard to not do in the present tense. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I posted some links there for you for the maps that Steve used today, my own personal uh, versions of them. I'm going to put those in again. Okay. Rob, so while, that... you're do while you're doing that, I need to clean something up if you don't mind. Sure. Um, we're going to ask everybody here. People are asking about the recording and that type of thing. Um, we post these. We have a YouTube channel and we post these. We, we're going to direct you there and we're going to ask that you join or subscribe to our YouTube channel. The only thing you will ever get from that is a notification when we post a weekend recap or we're promoting a new event. Okay. You're not going to get bombarded with stuff. We don't do things all the time. I probably should do more, but I'm enjoying the time time and freedom that comes with being able to snag two trades 25 points today that was a lot of fun so please go to our youtube channel subscribe if you like what we do like it for us and then when these when when this gets rendered and we post it to our youtube channel you'll get it you won't be bugging us. You're not bugging us ever. We won't be bugging you. All of those things. It'll just be there and you'll be in control of how you how you use the stuff that we offer. So if you would please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. If you like the content, like it. And then when we post this, when Zoom renders it and then we post it, you'll get a notice. And it won't be like, oh, I wonder if they have the recording. I wonder if they're going to send it out and things like that. Because we don't want to bombard you with emails, to be honest with you. If if you get on one list, somehow I got on a list from a system and I've unsubscribed and I'm counting 17 times and it doesn't matter. They still send me the same stuff over and over and over. And I'm, I'm just keeping a count of how long it's going to take. And I'm thinking now, never. We're not going to do that to you. I don't want, we don't want to send emails. Okay. We'll send it to you when we have pertinent information. And then the rest of the time, you got better things to do than sort through a bunch of emails in our opinion. So go to our YouTube channel, please, and subscribe and like it. And then, you know, when we put something in, we'll get it. Sorry to bother. Sorry to interrupt, not bother. Sorry to interrupt, Rob. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So thanks on that, Steve. Yeah. It's, you know, I had a guy. <laughs> I had a guy contact me. He's like, how come you don't have more activity on your YouTube channel? You should be really famous. And I was like, yeah, but and that's what Steve is just saying. We're not a marketing company. Amen. We're just doing what we're doing anyways. And um, and so, I mean, I think like for myself, I think I did one webinar this year. I, that's I should really do more. Um, I've written any number of Traders World um, magazine articles. They always ask me to uh, write and things like that. And so I contribute there. But um, we're really not a marketing company. Um, and so um, uh, please subscribe, maybe get our numbers up a little bit on YouTube. But um, so I want to just like as a over kind of to contextualize um, everything that Steve said today into into another category that's that's uh, important to to think about. And um, Steve shared with you the anomalies, and um, you know he shared with you the super map and the ultra map. But what are these things? If you just chunk these things into one simple um, one simple concept, what we're really doing when we're doing these things is we're trading. And Steve alluded to it in some comments that he made as well. Okay. If you expect 28 handles and you get 50, well, it's not going to be as easy for that map to fulfill its thing because it doesn't know what just happened. 
it only knows what usually happens. Well, when you when your category as is, you know, what usually happens, what's normal. Yeah. And so what we do in this whole endeavor is we try to trade from normal to abnormal, from normal to abnormal. So, uh, for example, in crude oil this morning, we had uh, the minus one period from that report. I'm not sure on the ES, but um, that report this morning um, threw the market for a loop. And so um, we got this big hunkin uh, period that uh, Z would be minus two today on the ES, yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, indeed. So we got a minus two period that was way bigger. I think Steve, um, I could show you a, a chart, David. Here's uh, Steve, I'm gonna uh, take the screen for a second here. Um, so you can see it, if I can do it. Um, okay, yeah, and, unless Steve stops sharing, I can't, yeah. Okay, and then let me. What do you want, Rob? I'll turn off your screen sharing and I'll, yeah, oh. or you could just, yeah, just bring up a 30 minute, uh, bring up the 30 minute chart today. Gotcha. Yeah, um, minus, minus two tore us up. Yeah, minus, right. So minus two was the report. Okay, so. As, as we, as I mentioned, it was like, yeah. yeah. Um, so see that big hunking bar right there? Okay, I don't. I don't remember uh, the range on that thing was like 40 handles, 43 handles, somewhere in there. Okay. That's not normal, right? What we want to do is we want to trade from normal to abnormal. That single concept is so important. Why do we want to trade from normal to abnormal? Because if we're trading from normal to abnormal, then the participants know what they should do, right? The participants know what they should do. And uh, Steve started this webinar with the market has a memory. Okay. But the market particularly has a memory when it is following what it knows is right. <laughs> yeah. And then when you get the big move, and Steve showed you the, the anomaly thing, you, you overshoot, you come back inside. Well, what's it trying to do? It's trying to get normal again. Yeah. So there are any number of different ways that uh, we teach to keep yourself uh, aligned with that. But uh, that was just an example of that. So I just wanted to share. Uh, we trade from normal to abnormal and the and the map is actually telling you what's normal. Now, what's remarkable about that is if you're looking at the map, um, if, if you're looking at the map, you're like, well, how can normal be 100% to take out the prior five and A period? Yeah. Now it didn't take out the prior five because of the minus two thing. Yeah. That's, that's why that didn't happen. We were no longer in a normal circumstance. This is why, and particularly so in the ES, you wanna know when those reports are. And there's typically reports at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern and there's reports at, uh, what is it? Uh, 8.30 a.m. Yeah. And so you want to uh, know when those are. And um, but on any of these things, if you're exceeding, if you're exceeding the ranges that you expect and everything else, you uh, you can adjust. And Steve teaches how you can do that in the room. If you're coming in light, you can adjust on those two. He also teaches that. And so but um, uh, when you trade from normal to abnormal, then the participants in the you know, if you were sitting at a card game and uh, playing and with a bunch of people and then some new person came in, it was actually can change up. In, in fact, it could uh, abruptly change the whole way the game's going, right? And so it's the same kind of concept there. A lot of times I like to take these things and just turn them into uh, what would be a metaphor for that in real life. Um, and, and that way we start understanding these markets from the story from the viewpoint of the story that it's trying to tell, you know, the story that it's trying to tell. And when you start trading in that way, the, and the maps can really help you to do that, but when you start trading in that way, it's a real game changer for the way you think about trading and, uh, and the opportunities that it opens up. Because then you're, what's actually happening there is you're actually begin thinking in the future instead of reacting to what's happening. Yeah. And so, 
Um, all that sits within the framework of what uh, Steve's sharing with you today. So anyways, I hope that's a useful concept for you. Steve, thanks so much for taking your time to share. Uh, like I said, we wanted to get all this, um, we wanted to get a, a webinar done before the holidays. And uh, hopefully um, uh, we wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday uh, season. And uh, we're very thankful that y'all came in today and let us uh, share a little bit about what we do. Yeah. And with that, that's that's all we got. Um, if you're if this makes sense to you, um, uh, stockindextradingroom.com. Yeah, stockindextradingroom.com. And um, and the coupon code, Steve. What would be the coupon code for that? HTTPS stockindextradingroom.com. And um, yeah, a coupon code is special member, give you a nice discount there. Yeah, so, all right, uh, thanks for coming in and uh, have a great holiday season and we'll see you all soon. Yeah, thank you, thank you.